politics just want one woman. Yeah. Easy. Just one woman, bro. No so, doubt. Holy. So you have to be careful. Date <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> three women at a time. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm extra careful now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. but yeah, yeah it's, it's just crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah, especially being successful as y'all too. Y'all single too. Yeah. yeah. We I live in this, this Me Too era too, which is like, it's, it's crazy how like, you know, they'll just believe anything a girl says. Oh, you know, look yeah. at Johnny Depp. Like, yeah. if Johnny Depp never recorded those arguments, mm -hmm. bro, we would all think that he was a, a, a terrible yeah. person that right. was like, you know, right. doing all this shit. But the reality is, no, she was being his ass. Yeah. yeah. Thank God he recorded it and he had yeah. it. But it's like, bro, it's crazy that this is the world that we're in where it's like, you know, when in doubt, just believe women as if they can't lie. Yeah. But a lot of times they do. And women a lie. Lot. I don't know how many times a woman told me she was pregnant. <laughs> so, yeah. Woman said I ain't pay a child support. <laughs> Thank God I kept all my receipts. <laughs> yeah. Man, women lie all the time. Yeah. yeah. They lie more than dudes. And I, one thing I, I would tell you about women, they can be very vindictive and evil. They will ruin your life. Facts. Trust me, I if know. they can. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You got some experience in that. I was like, man, these women out here, man. I mean, my showed up to work, there was a confidential envelope on my desk. It's like, I ain't open that shit. <laughs> open that shit. Back child support, $100,000. Right? What? what? Yep. They was going to take much? my, yep, they was going to, yeah, because they added fees, late penalties and stuff like that, uh -huh. right? So, luckily, I kept all the leases while I used to live with her. I kept all my, because back in those days, I money grammed everything, Western Union. Uh, yeah. I kept all the receipts. We I old, had, man. I we had doing money Money gram, gram. god damn. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. Venmo. And yeah, I no cash app. I <laughs> that was a cash app back then. Yeah, yeah, I submitted to the judge. They threw it all out of court. Wow. And the funny thing is, I had a great, uh, I, I made a, um, you know, agreement with her. Okay, I pay 800 a month. Because so things weren't working out. And that was a lot of money back in those days, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she went to child support on me, saying that I'd never paid her anything. She, and at the time, I was living in Orange County, California. It was a very expensive, affluent oh, neighborhood. She moved to, she Fresno. Moved to another city, Fresno. It was Cheap. much cheaper. And went behind my back and, and applied for child support. And it went from 800 all the way down to $310 a month. Yeah. I was like, bitch, thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah. yeah. She tried it, bro. She did a lot of stuff. I she mean, thought she I, would get more. Yeah, she got I less. I mean, I wasn't no saint, but man, the, some things that women do is very vindictive. I couldn't do that to a, a woman. Or yeah, know. there's people that have been accused. <laughs> <laughs> there's, been, there's people that have been accused, bro, and then they get um, yeah. they get exonerated, and no one talks about how it was yeah. a false yeah. allegation. All yeah. they remember is the accusation. So it's just right. it is crazy world that we live in, where it's like this whole you know me too believe all women thing is like very dangerous. Yeah. Very, do you think it's worth men getting married? These days? Hell no, nah, man. Like, no. The, so here's the thing. Okay. So before people come at us, right? Yeah. I believe in the nuclear family. I think it's the best and only way to raise a child properly, especially right. in, you know, the degenerative world that we're in nowadays. Mm -hmm. You need two parents because you're probably going to have to homeschool your kid or put them in a private school uh, nowadays. I'm homeschooling my kid. Yeah. Because this shit is crazy, right? Right. With what's going on in the public school system. Um, but with that said, the way marriage is done in the United States mm -hmm. is very dangerous for men. There's not really much upside for you because you're taking right. on an enormous amount of risk with child support, alimony, and then the family courts in general if things don't work out. And right. then you take on top of that that women have an incentive to divorce you now right. because they could get all the benefits while simultaneously shirking off the responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's like it's not in your best interest as a man to get married. So the, what I tell guys is if you really want to get married, et cetera, like make Clean sure you up. just do it. Uh, well, even a prenuptial agreement mm -hmm. like can be overturned. You could get with a good attorney. Really? Yeah, you could you could you know do some work. But like, look at Tyrese right now. He had a damn good prenuptial agreement, but mm -hmm. the wife is still angling to get money out of it so they could challenge it. So what I say is like, yo, just don't get married with the state. Like, do that shit right. religiously. Go to your church. Right. Go to your masjid. However you want to do it. Get it. Get pre uh, married through your priest or your. But the problem is, mom, you, can't live, good. you can't live with her. Because if you live with her, yeah, we don't believe in living with girls either. Like yeah. actually, marriage as well. Mm. By the state. We tell guys not to live with girls either. I know that sounds crazy as well, but there's right. a bunch of reasons for that. But yeah. yeah. You ever heard the term bait and switch? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what they do. They'll come, oh, yeah. they'll come be nice to you. If you sex whenever you want, I marry you say, let's move in together, let's get a house. You marry, mm -hmm. you get a house. Mm -hmm. Then she's like, Oh, I got you now. I'm on a couch, watching TV, making you maybe a sandwich. I'm tired from work. What you, what you talking about? Oh, you don't <laughs> do that? Divorce. And then next thing you know, you're paying child support and alimony right. for years. But I'm telling you, bait and switch. You were cool at the beginning, nice yeah. to you. Always fun, fun, fun with you. All of a yeah. sudden, it's like, got this nigga by the balls. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the 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 main reason I tell guys like don't live with your with your girls because it, it maintains the attraction when you don't live with her. Because yeah. in right. people say, well, hold on, how could you raise kids like that? I'm like, I'm not saying move away and shit, but like as a dad, you really don't. If you're working all the time anyway, let's say yeah. you did live there and you're working, all, you're not there anyway. Yeah. Like you're out here, 
you know, making money, et cetera. You come in when you need to discipline them, whatever. Right. Like, especially when the kid is like, I think the dad needs to be more involved when the kid hits the teenage years. Yeah. But in the, you know, formative child, baby years, mm -hmm. the mom can handle most of that shit herself, man. Yeah. And then on top of that, you kind of, you maintain the attraction because, you know, women like a guy that isn't always available, et cetera. Like, women, what I've realized is like, girls don't like us the way we like them, right? Yeah. So like, for us, like, we don't lose attraction to the same level that women do. Like women get, and they've done this in studies that women get bored in relationships way faster than men. Mm -hmm. And when they do get bored, attraction just tanks with it. And then that's why they're, they right. initiate 80% of the divorces. I think not living with her makes you more attractive, keeps you sharp too, because let's be honest, when you live with a chick, you get lazy. Right. She right. Gets, makes the place all comfortable. She, yeah. oh, don't go to the gym. Just hang out with me. Yeah. Why do you work so much? Eh. Cause like they don't have the same mindset that we do. They don't have right. the same proclivity to go out there and earn. I found so, that out the hard way, my yeah. first marriage. Cause I didn't live with her until we got married. Mm. <laughs> Shit totally changed. Two weeks yeah. later, we're trying to kill each other. Yeah. yeah. You know, there was a famous soccer player of, uh, they call it football overseas. Yeah. He's a soccer player. He actually got married. He, I think it was worth like uh, $200 million. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. I know what you mean. And he got married. But the thing is, when she tried to take him to court, he had took all his possessions, all his money. Oh, yeah, put his, his, mom. his mom. In his mom in a trust, and she couldn't touch anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. We talked about that. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, can't yeah. remember the player's name, though. Yeah. What was his name? Yeah, I can't remember his name either, but I yeah. know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Out yeah. of Spain, divorce. I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of Spain. Yeah, divorce makes the most uh, female millionaires every year. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wealth transfer. Between yeah. if, if you look at the richest women in the world, yeah. all of them got it through inheritance. Jeff Bezos? Yeah. Almost all the richest women got it through inheritance. So, you know, it's just. You have way too much to risk as a man. So my thing is, yo, you want to get married? Cool. I think it's fantastic, right? Especially right. to raise a family. <laughs> right. But just yeah. don't do it with the state involved. Right. Go and get it done religiously because if you're getting married, that's a religious uh, sanctimony right. anyway. It's a religious thing. Anything the state touches is going to destroy anything. It's going to fuck you up, man. Yeah. So like it's it, – because then, then what ends up happening is she's incentivized to leave you at that point. Right. Like, it, you know, why never get, you know, they have the saying, never get in a contract with someone that's incentivized to break it. And that's what marriage is in the West. And also yeah. as a man, keep in mind – when you're with a girl long term, you gotta be in frame. Because if you lose frame, she loses respect for you. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I can leave any time. So bye. Because a lot of guys get lazy when they get a girl too. They it stop happens. going to the gym. Everybody yeah. stop training so hard. They get comfortable mm -hmm. and get fat and I, shit. I, I mean, th this is a controversial take. This is why I think you shouldn't be monogamous. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I don't believe in monogamy. I think if you're a guy and you're successful and you um, have your shit together, you should have as many women as you want. Mm -hmm. And I know people are, whoa, this is like too, blah blah blah, but. It plays to the carnal side of the female nature because women are attracted to men mm -hmm. that have other women. It keeps your girl on her toes, mm -hmm. keeps her staying attractive. She understands that her place isn't necessarily secure and she's going to work for your affection more. That's just the reality of psychology and how it works with men and women. Yeah. We don't need that, but women do. Like women need to constantly ha see that social proof. They constantly need to see yeah, other validation. women checking you out, et cetera. Like that's just how they're wired. They yeah, need to yeah, feel like they got true. the best guy. Like. I've always said, like, women look at it like this, right? So, because, like, people, like, what are you talking about, Myron? What the fuck are you talking about? I always give the analogy. If you go to a store, right, and you get a handbag for the ladies, mm -hmm. and you get a great discount on it, right, but then someone else gets that same bag and they get it for a better price, mm -hmm. are you going to, you're going to probably want to go back to that store and try to get that price that they got. But if you know you got the best deal, you're not going back to that store. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it as a man. You want to be the best deal so she don't want to go back to the store. Mm -hmm. and have to go and find another bag, bag. etc. I got the best bag and it's constantly validated to me because every time I'm out with this nigga, I'm looking at him. Yeah, right. The girls are flirting with him in front of my fucking face. Yeah. Holy shit. I, that, and girls constantly need that. For us, we don't need that shit. Like, mm -hmm. if a girl's bad and nobody knows her, you're like, yes, yeah. right? Yeah. I brought her to a party, nobody knows her. But for a girl, she, she, needs, she, wants, she needs to constantly see that other women want you. It's so strange how, and I've always said too, like pre-selection is by far the strongest attraction trigger for women mm -hmm. when they see you. That's how ugly niggas that are famous, mm -hmm. how do they get girls? Social proof. Yeah. yeah. But they'll be ugly as shit. You always see these old guys, man, on their deathbed with the hottest chicks because they're loaded. Billionaires. Yeah, which is a form of social status. So mm -hmm. for girls, they need that social proof, man. And I, I hate to use the nightclub as an example, but like when you go to a nightclub, we're all the women concentrated in the VIP sections. Mm -hmm. It's like when you have girls, other girls come to you. It's like right. pa passive income on Right, <laughs> it's, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's no like, woman yeah. wants a guy that no other woman wants. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so why married men do well. Like I'm sure y'all get hit on. You guys have your rings on. Like a girl might talk to you or something like that, yeah. or they'll feel more disarmed because they right. know, damn, he already has a chick. He don't need me, so let me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I or, told you about the yeah sliding in my DM. Or they yeah. might, or they might want to try to extort you. Yeah, yeah. Very complicated creatures, man. Yeah, very complicated. Yeah, and I think like guys, we're simple. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, pretty much. Yeah. Like, like just give my, me some jeans. 
Give me some sneakers and a t-shirt. I'm good. Yeah. Women, well, they fuck? need the bag. They need the jewelry. They need the makeup, the hair. Like the way you Women can keep, complicated. keep me happy is like sexually. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I really need. Yeah. yeah. Men, men are way, way simpler than, than women. Simple. Like, and, and that's why I've, I've always said like, if you got your shit together, mm-hmm. right? And she sees you as the best option. Well, it's not easy to find that. So she's going to probably stick with you. you just, but you need to maintain. That's where guys fuck up is they, they, they get lazy and, they, and girls lose attraction because they're getting lazy. And then the guy, another guy comes, oh, you're beautiful. Starts all over again. Starts all over again. Huh? Yeah. Cycle of rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, man. 